The North American F-82 twin Mustang was developed during World War II as a very long-range escort fighter. It was intended to escort B-29 Super Fortress bombers on missions exceeding 2,000 miles. This was beyond the range for existing escort fighters. The development was initiated in 1943, and was based on the XB-51F Mustang, which would later become the P-51H Mustang. Two Leighton P-51H fuselages, with additional fuel tanks fitted, had a new center wing section mounted between them. The prototype XP-82 failed to become airborne on its first flight attempt. The left engine of the aircraft was a Rolls-Royce Merlin V-16-5023, and the right engine was a Rolls-Royce Merlin V-16-5025. North American engineers discovered that the way the propellers rotated cancelled out all lift from the center wing section. This was solved by changing sides of the propellers and the engines. The first successful flight of the XP-82 took place on June 26, 1945. The U.S. Army Air Forces accepted the aircraft on August 30, 1945. This was after World War II had ended. The XB-82 could be flown from either cockpit position, allowing the pilots to alternate control during long flights. Later night fighter versions converted the right position to house a radar operator. After the war, the Army wanted to give the twin Mustang a purely American engine. The P-82C, and later versions, therefore used the less powerful Allison V-1710-100 engine, giving these versions a lower top speed, and a poorer high-altitude performance. When the atomic bombs were dropped over Japan, the need for long-range fighter escorts was eliminated. The pre-production P-82s that had already been manufactured, were put into storage, their future uncertain. But when the Soviet Union revealed the Tupolev Tu-4 Superfortress clone in 1947, the U.S. saw an urgent need for an interceptor aircraft. Jet interceptors were not yet available, and the twin Mustangs were taken out of storage as a temporary solution. In June 1948, the U.S. Air Force was formed, and at the same time, all P-designated aircraft were redesignated to F, this changed the name of the P-82 to F-82. The first operational F-82Es were deployed to Kearney Air Force Base in Nebraska, in March 1948. No long-range jet fighters were yet available, and the F-82 was assigned in a bomber escort role after all. The interceptor versions, the F-82 F and G, were equipped with a radar and had a radar operator position without flight controls. A long radar pod was located on the underside of the center wing. 45 F-82Gs served in the Far East Air Forces. When the Korean War broke out in June 1950, F-82s were put into combat duty. Twin Mustangs flew the first air combat mission of the war. The F-82 pilots exceeded all expectations in aerial combat during the early days of the war. But when the Far East Air Forces requested an additional 21 aircraft, the request was denied. There was also a lack of spare parts for the aircraft already in service. In March 1952, the last F-82G left Korea to be deployed in Alaska. During the war, 22 F-82s were lost, including 11 in combat missions, and 11 non-combat losses. In 1948, six twin Mustangs were deployed to Adak Island in Alaska. The long range of the F-82 made it suitable to serve in the Alaskan Air Defense Mission. In March 1949, eight more F-82s arrived, and the squadron relocated to Ladd Air Force Base. The twin Mustangs patrolled Alaska, although visual contact with Soviet aircraft was rare. In 1950 and 1951, all remaining F-82s in the Air Force were transferred to Ladd Air Force Base. The last twin Mustangs were retired from the U.S. Air Force in 1953. The F-82 was only in service for seven years, and a total of 272 aircraft were produced.